are those goddamn viruses? Tell me. I know you know where. Tell me. Haven't you learned yet? Oh boy. It's you. you should learn by now. That <laughs> God. That laugh. <laughs> you of all people should know. Oh boy, here oh, comes no. the tough guy speech. Where are those goddamn viruses? Tell me. I know you know where. Tell me. Just f***ing <laughs> talk already. God damn it. <laughs> Oh boy. I'm this close to <laughs> gutting you. <laughs> this close, man. This <laughs> close. Oh boy. Hey, you know what another good motivator besides death is? I don't need your fucking to tell me where the viruses are. Fear. Okay, fine. We're gonna have to take this to, I don't know, a different level perhaps, because you're not talking. Buddy, there were no viruses. Really? You see, there is a reason something better than death and mass destruction is fear. I don't need your riddle, just tell me where the f viruses are, man. There are no viruses. We were paid handsomely to create no viruses. Who? Who paid you? Well, if I were to reveal that, I'm pretty much dead already. But you see, benefactors know that there's only one thing better than death. In fact, you could kill hundreds of people in just moments. Yeah, people won't care. Sweep under the rug. What kind of mumbo jumbo is this? Tell me the f***ing truth already. Do God you, damn it. Do you remember when Ebola was a threat? How easy it could spread? Back in 2015? Yes, I do. Well, what caused people to set off the panic was simply the fear of that spread. The horrible deaths. If you make it seem like that, that a horrible virus could be released, killing millions of people, they will flock to the strong to survive. I'm talking no more open borders, closed borders, actually defending their people. We were hired to spread that fear in order to prevent countries from collapsing under the weak governments there were. Now, sacrifice had to be made, a few riots now and then, panic, a few killings, but it would all be worth it. They'd finally end their weak policies, strengthen their borders in order to actually care for their people. This could root out terrorists. They'd flood. Do you really think it's a coincidence that nationalism is on the rise? Wait, wait, so you're saying that all this Everything we went through, you kidnapping me, was just a trick? Dude. For fear? <laughs> come on, man. Come on. Give me something better. Come on. Tell me. Just tell me where the f***ing viruses are, or I won't have to slit your throat. Come on. <laughs> oh, my friend. Like I said... I'm this close, man. No more bullshit. Should have known better. Just try to get this scumbag filth mother... <laughs> oh, well. You don't listen well, do you? This is Fear is taking control. You're scared. <laughs> Maybe you might be one of us after all. I was never Willie, and I never was. Well, I suppose I should uh, just give up then. Yeah, might be a good idea. You are not going to see the light of day. I guarantee it. Well, yeah, you dude. have caused a lot of pain. <laughs> Indeed, but pain that'll all be worth it. Oh, really? The, well, the strong will emerge, and soon Europe, China, everywhere will be full of strong governments. No more weakness. I got three words for you. See you in hell. That's full.